Hi, my name is Abby Ginch, and I'm not at all surprised if you didn't already know that, because I am heavily introverted. Honestly, I would much rather be sitting in the 3D printing lab doing anything other than giving my senior speech to 350 of my peers, but alas, this is a graduation requirement, so time for personal growth it is. To begin, I want to give out fair warning that I stole this idea and a solid amount of the work from my college administration's essays, and I 100% recommend doing it. It's great. With that being said, I'm going to jump right in and talk about what I've learned in the past four years. High school is a time of new, serious growth and new responsibilities, and suddenly, our worldviews are forced to change. When we are children, we have very secluded bubbles we live in, and we see only small pieces of the real world. We don't think about the politics of issues or debate the moralities of our actions. We just do, do what's fun as we go about our lives, the biggest issue of the day being whether or not to resist nap time. But each year, we slowly gain a bigger bubble, our world expanded from our family units to include our social friends. And when I entered middle school, the class of 2020 literally doubled in size from 13 to 26 students. And there was an influx of new students, new ideas, and new experiences. And then, as we all came to the upper school, we were 14. And now, two months short of my 18th birthday, I can tell you the world's a very different place than it was four years ago. Being a teenager can be incredibly complicated, and I don't mean in the cliche ways with issues like peer pressure and gossip, though those are real issues. Instead, I'm talking about the issues that arise with our newfound knowledge and deeper understanding of the world around us. It can be terrifying, but it isn't necessarily a bad thing. For me, I found the hardest part of this new knowledge was realizing my parents aren't perfect. My parents are flawed humans. My dad works far too much, and my mom internalizes everyone else's stress. They have their own ups and downs, their own struggles. They're still growing and changing as people. This can be unsettling and scary to realize. But unsettling and scary doesn't mean it's a bad thing. Uncomfortable? Yes. But not bad. We are a unique place in our lives. As high schoolers, we are standing on the threshold of adulthood. We are seeing life through a filter that is clearer now than it ever has been before, and for that matter, clearer than it ever will be again. We have the opportunity to recognize flaws in the world around us and approach them from new perspectives. We can learn from them. Accepting that everyone has their flaws is sometimes difficult, but it can be a huge relief. The word flaw may have negative connotations, but it shouldn't. Flaws are often just character traits that have been carried out to levels that make us uncomfortable. But there are many things we can learn from a flaw. In the example of my parents, I look at my dad and I see, a I see a person who works an unhealthy amount. But I can also see that those same character traits fueling his long work hours have helped instill in me an incredible work ethic and a passion for continued learning. When I look at my mother, I see a woman taking on a disproportionate amount of stress in life, often shouldering the, shouldering the load for others who might not even realize the toll it takes. But the character traits that fuel her are the same ones that have influenced me to place a premium value on relationships, having empathy, and being a good friend. As I've gotten older and been able to recognize these things, I've also been able to make choices for myself and modulate my own behavior to avoid going down similar paths that aren't right for me. And those last five words of that sentence were probably the most important part of this speech, that aren't right for me. Each of us has different experiences, different personalities, different goals, and different worldviews. While being a teenager offers us many new freedoms and new understandings of the world that can make it exceptionally difficult to get through every day, we just have to remember we are all learning together and simply acknowledge the flaws of ourselves and those around us and understand that those are what make us unique and just move forward stronger because of it. Now, for all I know, everything I just said is utter nonsense, but hopefully someone got something from it. So I'm going to awkwardly segue into a call out and thank you. So for this first call out, it's gonna to be to Adriana Vidal, who is my best friend and a fellow introvert. She has to be called out specifically because I know it's going to make her uncomfortable and she needs to be as unhappy as I am right now. And I wanna thank you, I wanna say, give, give a thank you to all of my teachers who have helped, helped me these last four years as I've worked to reach my goals. 
And of course, a thank you to my loving parents who just had to spend a solid amount of time listening to me, listening to me dissect their personalities for the benefit of college administration and my senior speech requirements. So thank you guys for your time.